Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I've seen a ton of these floating around on YouTube, but I haven't ever done one for myself. On my last video, I did notice that I use my hands so much to talk, and I already know that, but it's so annoying seeing it on camera. Like, honestly, I'm gonna have to work on that. Like, I didn't know I was that bad until I started watching that video. This is gonna be a talk through video, so obviously it is gonna be a little bit longer than the other videos. I normally accustom myself to doing videos that are not wicked long. I really don't like it when my videos go over 10 minutes. I feel like that's too long at that point. I feel like I won't have anybody's attention after that. But let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos, because if you do, then I'll definitely keep doing them. I love to talk, so trust me, this is not gonna be a problem for me. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I kind of just sat down and just wanted to play with some new products that I've received and I wanted to test them out and see how they work. So without further ado, let's get started. I already moisturized my face with my Cetaphil moisturizer. It's by Tried and True. It's what I use all the time to moisturize my face. I'll be sure to list every product that I used in this video down in the description box, so make sure you check that out if you missed anything that I said, or I might say. So I'm gonna start off with probably my eyes, just because I'm not gonna do my face yet, because I don't know how intense I'm gonna go with the eyes yet. Although I really couldn't go that intense because this top is like a lot. It's like, it's a lot. It's really loud. So I'm probably going to keep my makeup on the subtle side. I'm going to be going in with the Carly Bible palette. I just got this. I've been wanting to get it for a while now. I love Carly. The problem is that it's always sold out. So I came across the BH Cosmetics site the other day and I'm like, wow, it's in stock. Cannot believe it. I almost dropped dead. So I thought that would be a good time to buy it. So I bought it and I got it. And I haven't used it. This is my first time using it right now. So I wanted to play with it a little bit. It does have really, really beautiful colors. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with some concealer. I'm going to be using this NYX concealer in the shade Beige. I did use this once already and I really, really liked it. It stayed on super long and super creamy and it just, it has a really nice thick consistency. It's definitely thick, but it's not extremely thick to the point where it's uncomfortable. It's just the right consistency. I really, really like it and it's only five bucks. So you know, <laughs> mom. Mama likes a bargain, you know? So I'm going to be going in with this as a primer. I really like to use concealers as primers, especially good concealers, because I feel like they hold the product a lot better on my eyes. So then I'm just going to start blending that out with my finger, and then I'm just going to set it with some powder. To set it, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Translucent Powder. I love this to set anything, any part of my face. It really, really does a good job keeping me matte. I really, really like it. The only thing I will say is the packaging does suck, which I think I've said that before, but I mean, you, you can't expect much for like a $3 product, but it is a really, really, really good powder. The reason I like to set it is because I like to go in powders on powders instead of powders on like a sticky concealer. You know what I mean? The first color that I'm going to be going in with today is going to be this color right here. It's just a really just natural taupey brown color, so you can tell it can make a really, really good transition shade. I'm really excited to do this talk through tutorial because I haven't done one of these in a really, really long time. I'm usually doing voiceovers and it's because I really don't ever have any silence to do a talk through tutorial. You can always hear my daughter screaming in the background and if she's not screaming, she's watching her cartoons and they're super loud. If not, you're hearing her dad, my boyfriend, he's super loud too when he's playing on his games. And honestly, like, it's just too much. So I always have to do a voiceover because it just never works out. So I'm hoping today I can get it done. My daughter's napping. Um, my boyfriend's at the gym. So it's all, all is right with the world. So hopefully we can get this done today. I'm going to be putting this all over my crease just as a transition color. I'm breaking out again. Honestly, like, I'm so done with this. My skin has just been going so ridiculously crazy in the past few months, and I don't even know where it's coming from. I don't know if it's stress breakouts or what's going on. So I don't know if I'm going through some kind of adult acne or some kind of just cystic acne. I really don't know what to call this. Like, it's just big fat pimples, and honestly, this is good. Like, this is good compared to what it's been like. My skin has just been so bad. Like, I have no idea and it really sucks because it makes me really insecure and it's just really uncomfortable to have these big fat pimples and they're not little baby pimples like they're monsters and these pimples are kind of just taken over so I'm gonna need that to stop. <laughs> From my uh, Too Faced Natural Eyes palette I'm gonna be taking the color Nudie which is just a basic beige brown transition color and I'm gonna be taking that on top of the color that I already applied. I just feel like I need something a little bit more brown and I feel like that one was a little bit too taupey for me. I'm 
Going in with this bronzy, browny color right here, I'm going to be putting that on top of the crease colors that I've already applied. It's really, really pigmented. I really like it. I'm going to be concentrating this color more towards the center of my crease, and I'm going to start taking it down and leaving the other colors more towards the top. So really quickly, I just wanted to thank you guys for the 200 subscribers. Honestly, I didn't think to, I really didn't think any more than 10 people would be interested in watching me. So it's really surreal to see that so many of you guys are tuned into my videos and you actually like them. That's a shocker for me. So thank you so much. I know it's not a humongous number, but I am really grateful for what I have. And I did want to say thank you because I do owe it to you guys. Um, so I really, really do appreciate it. I really don't try to pay attention to the numbers. Honestly, I don't care for them. Like I could have 10 people watching me and I can have a million. Like, like I'll still be the same person. I'm just really doing these videos because I do want to share my tips and tricks and I honestly love it. So I'm really, really excited to see that you guys are actually tuning in. You like my videos. So I really, really love it. So let me know what videos you want to see from me. Like honestly, sometimes I get in a stump and I don't know what to film. You know, I don't know what people want to see. I try to always do things that I want to watch because if I don't want to watch some kind of video, I don't really want to put that out there for other people to watch if I wouldn't watch it myself you know what I mean so I try to only put videos and produce videos that I know people want to see so hopefully that's coming across that way and hopefully you guys are liking them I'm gonna go with this one which is just like a very pretty champagne -y gold and then I'm just gonna apply that to my lid That's pretty much all I'm going to do on my eyes for now. For the face, I'm going to be going in with the EX1 Invisawear Foundation. This is probably my third or fourth time wearing this foundation, and I love it so much. Mine is in the shade F300. It's a very sheer and very healthy-looking foundation. To apply this, I'm going to be using a cosmetic wedge. One of my beauty blenders is broken, and the other one, I cannot find it for the life of me. And then I use normally my, what do you call those, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponges. And right now, mine is ridiculously dirty, so I don't even want to use that right now. So I'm going to be going in with some cosmetic sponges, which work pretty much the same. The only thing is that they have this little awkward shape, but that's fine. I'm still going to use it. What I like to do is I get it wet, and then once I get it wet and damp, I wring out the excess water, and then I'll go in with the foundation. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be using Baby Skin by Maybelline. Honestly, it was just the first one I could grab because I don't want my foundation to dry on me because it's on the back of my hand right now. I'm just going to focus that on my problem areas where I have the most pores. This is a great cheap alternative to the Beauty Blender because it's not as expensive and it gets the job done. The only thing is that it's just a little small and it's just a little bit more awkward but if you dampen it, it'll do the job. You have to make sure it's damp though because if it's not damp, then it won't work the same. And this is normally what I do when my Beauty Blenders are dirty which is the case right now. One of them broke. My daughter bit it and she ripped it apart. I don't know why she did that. If you don't know already, the EX1 foundations are tailored really to olive to yellow skin tone, which is really nice. In my specific scenario, I am very yellow and I do have olive undertones too. So it really, it just matches me so well. If anybody knows of any products that are really good for people with acne prone skin, please let me know. I am going through like adult acne. I did not have these kinds of problems in my teenage years. I don't even know why this is happening right now, but please let me know. I feel like I've tried so many things and nothing is working for my skin. And it has gotten very sensitive on me too. Like, I've never had sensitive skin, but now I'm finding that products I used to be able to use, I can't even use them anymore because my skin just doesn't like them. So, I don't know what's going on with my skin, but my skin is acting real brand new and I don't appreciate it. I'm just going to go in and do my eyebrows now, but I'm going to do that off camera to spare the length of this video. I'll be sure to link it down below because I did do a recent eyebrow routine. Um, so nothing has changed, so I will be sure to link that down below so you guys can check that out. The concealer I'm going to be using is the same one I used as a primer, which is the NYX concealer in the shade Beige. And I'm just going to be going in in a triangle motion. I'm not going to focus too much on putting the concealer right underneath my eye because I will make sure to blend it up. And again, with a cosmetic wedge, I'm going to be blending that out. If for whatever reason your eyeshadow gets a little crazy, you can always grab your concealer and just trace it in a line so it looks a lot more sharp. That's a great alternative other than using tape. I mean, sometimes tape works best. 
but there's times that tape is just a little too harsh. I'm going to be applying some more concealer um, to my face just to kind of even it out so it's not like really white under my eyes and then like the rest of my face doesn't look right. So to do that, I'm just going to be putting some on my forehead in the center and on my chin and down my nose. I'm going to be blending that in. I'm going to be baking today with the RCMA No Color Powder. I did do a video on this, and if I haven't put it up yet, you will be seeing it very soon. It's a spender save where I talk a little bit more about the product, but I'm going to be using this to bake. I'm going to be dumping that onto a foundation plate, and then I'm just going to pick up the product from there. The wedge I applied my concealer with, I'm going to be putting on the powder. I'm really loving this powder. It's amazing. This is probably like my seventh time using it at this point. It's becoming a holy grail. Little by little, it is becoming a holy grail for me. If you want to see the video that I made on this, I'll be sure to link it down below. While that sets, I'm going to be going in. I look really crazy right now. While that sets, I'm going to be going in with lashes. I'm going to be using House of Lashes Siren today. After I use mascara, which I forgot, I'm going to be going in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, which is one of my Holy Grail mascaras. I had lost it for the longest time, and I was like panicking, going out of my mind, but I finally got it again, and I'm just going to do a thin layer of it. I'm just going to tight line with some black eyeliner. I normally do this because I pretty normally skip eyeliner, so this is a good way for your lashes to blend in with the falsies. Do you see? Like, do you see? It does not even leave a white cast. Like, like, you cannot tell that I had literally baby powder on my face. So once that's done, I'm going to go into the under eyes. And for that, I'm going to be using this bronzy color that I use on the top. And then I'm going to be using this one. Kind of just like a mix of both of them. Just to kind of smoke out the lower lash line a little bit more. You guys, I'm so ready for hot weather. Like, that's kind of why I'm wearing this shirt. Like, I'm so ready for the summer. I'm ready for the spring. Like, I'm ready for nice weather. We really had a good winter. And, I'm, I mean, I shouldn't say we had because it's still not over. But we are having a really good winter. Knock on wood. Like, I just, I don't want to jinx anything. But we have been really blessed this winter. I live in New England. And we normally get all the bad weather up here. So, it's really nice for a change for the weather to be so good to us. Because... Let me tell you, I am not used to this weather. I am not used to it. And if it stayed like that here, like more, I would want to stay here. But because it gets so crazy in the winter, like I don't want to live here for the rest of my life. But if I knew for a fact that it would stay like this, where the winter would be not that bad. I mean, you would see snow, like you could see all the four seasons, like it's beautiful. But I mean, ain't nobody got time to be shoveling like that. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Medium, and then I'm just going to be putting that on my waterline, just to open up my eyes a little bit. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator on my lower lashes. This is a great lower lash mascara. If you're looking for one that's really lightweight, because the problem with lower lash mascaras, or just mascaras in general, when you try to apply them to your lower lashes, is that it's usually really heavy or a really fat wand, if that makes any sense. So it just makes it really difficult to get down here and just apply the mascara without getting extremely messy. So it's nice for this one because it's really, really lightweight and the wand is actually perfect for that. And the bristles are really nice. So they're not extremely thick, but they're not super thin either. And it also does a really, really good job at separating the bottom lashes, which essentially is what we're trying to do here. For bronzer, I'm going to be going in with my NYC Sunny Bronzer, my tried and true. You guys know I love this. I've hit panned so many times on this thing, but I'm just going to have to keep hitting pan because I really, really love this. Put some eyeshadow in my inner corners. I'm sorry that this look is kind of like all over the place. Honestly, I just kind of sat down and I'm kind of just going with the flow. So the first shade in the palette, which is like a very creamy banana colored um, matte yellow-ish, beige -ish color. So I'm just going to be putting that on my inner corners. And I guess I'm using a matte on the inner corners because I have that gold there too. So I don't want any more shimmers. 
And again, I'm sorry that this look is kind of all over the place. I really had no idea what I was trying to do today. For blush, I'm going to be using Luminoso by Milani, which is a very pretty peachy, corally color. And last but not least for highlighter, actually this is not last. I'm going to be going in with highlighter. I'm going to be using the highlighter from this palette. I'm probably going to be mixing these two. And I'm just going to be putting that on the high points of my cheeks. I'm going to be using this Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. Because this looks like the perfect little highlighting brush. But I didn't know if it was. This is my first time using it. So I'll let you guys know. Oh, the highlighters are really pretty. Do you see that? Bling! I really shouldn't be putting any highlighter there. Because I have this massive zit. But... I guess she's part of the family too, right? She deserves to shine. I'm going to put some above my eyebrows just to kind of lift the face a little bit. This is a really, really pretty color. But this smells really, really strong. Like, you just don't like fragrancy makeup. I really would steer away from these. They have a really nice scent, but that's just the thing. The scent is actually pretty strong. I don't really know what to describe the scent as, but it's definitely strong. It doesn't smell bad, but it smells strong. But I will say, these are really, like, not that matte. Like, I'm waiting here. I'm going to wait for a little bit to see if it sets matte, but it says it's a vivid matte, so I don't know what that really means, but it definitely doesn't look or feel like it's going to be a matte product. However, it does feel really, really nice and velvety on the lips. It's not uncomfortable or anything, but we'll see. I mean, it's not bad so far. Okay, guys, so I've waited a little while for the lipstick to set, and I still feel like it's not a matte lipstick. It's definitely not. It feels very velvety and still feels very comfortable. However, they lied. They so lied with, with, that, with that name because it's so off. Like, it's very misleading. It's not matte at all, but it's really comfortable. And I got mine in the shade 5 Nude Thrill. So guys, that pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these kinds of chit-chatty, or not even chit-chatty, just very long <laughs> videos, um, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or just let me know down in the comments down below so I can keep doing them for you. I really enjoy doing these kinds of videos. It gives me a chance to just kind of talk it out. Anything that I've used in this video will be listed down below. I said video. Video. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.